Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. So this is our third video of our employee registry application. And in this video, we will create the view files. We will create our static application in React.js. So let's do this. So I have opened the app.js file from our mpreg and source folder from our mpreg in the source folder. And I have opened the app.js file because default this file is running in the browser. Here you can see we have a text edit source. And if I see the if I see browser, if I see in the browser, then here you can see it is a text edit source app.js. So it is running app.js file by default. So the first file is called when we run the app, it will call the index.js. And this index.js will load the app.js file. So this app.js file is our default file. So now what we will do? Actually index.js file is our default file and it is importing the app.js file. So now what we will do? We will let's edit this. Uh, let's edit this text. So I will. This is first React.js app. So if I if I change the text, then it it will automatically update the text in the browser. So here you can see it is showing this is a first React.js app. Now what I will do, I need to create our employee register app with bootstrap. So first we need to import the bootstrap from our folder. So I have uh, downloaded the bootstrap file and add in the source folder. Here you can see I have added the bootstrap.min.css file in this folder. Now I will import this same as this is uh, this importing app.css uh, file. So I will import bootstrap.min.css file. And here I will remove the here I will remove all the things and here I will add div class container. So the class name in the React.js will be the camel case letter and it will be a class name, not class because if you define the class then it will generate the error because we are not doing html we are actually doing jsx so because if you if you pay attention then you can see here we are writing html in the js code so normally it, it will not uh, js not run the html but we are running this because of jsx jsx syntax so now we have created a container so let's add in this employee list so it will show the employee list so it will show the employee list in the app.js file so now what we will do we will create the we need to create the three pages list of the employee add form for the employee and update form to modify the employee data so we need to create this three files we need to create these three components so in react.js we can create component we can uh, create function we can create classes as a component so here we need to create three components so what we will do we will create three components let's create this i will create the component folder components components and in this components i will create list.js and i will create add.js and i will also create update.js so in the list.js i will write import react from react and here i will create function list we can create function with the with the help of uh, function uh, we can create component with the help of function or with the help of class but i am uh, i am creating this uh, as a function 
so let's uh, export this export default list and in this we will return so what we want to return from this function I want to return h3 list employee so here I will list employee so how I will how I will connect the list.js with app.js so what I will do I will import the component import list from list from components I will import the list component and add it in the container so list so we can add the component as a uh, as this uh, this kind of style we can add the component first we need to import the component then we can add the component as this kind of syntax so let's let's check this so it is showing the list employee from the list component now similarly we can add the uh, add and update component and I will copy this function I will copy this list function in the same as add add and here update and I will change the text update and here I will change the text add so let's add this component in this container add update so here you can see it is showing the three uh, it is showing all the components list add update but uh, this is not logically uh, true because we need all this component at the different pages so when we click on the add then it it it, uh, it should show the add component uh, it, it should show the add form actually or add component and when we uh, click some uh, employee data then it should show the update component so in our next video in our next part we will create router we will uh, create a router to and a link with the uh, all these components when user click on the add then it will show the add component so in the next video we will create the router to making this application as a single page application so we will use the react router dom package to making this a single page application so we will see in the next video so i hope you are enjoying this video enjoying enjoying this series so please subscribe and like this video please subscribe this channel and like this video please thank you thank you so much